faith, hope, peace, and love. There isn't a big enough box to hold them or enough wrapping paper in the world to seal them up because these gifts are in us just as they were in the baby Jesus. Jesus was God's gift to us many years ago and today we are the gifts to each other. We are the real gifts of Christmas. And since we are the gifts to each other, you are being wrapped in ribbon. <laughs> now it is up to us to bring these gifts from our hearts out into the world. This Christmas, celebrate with family and friends. Enjoy the presents and the cookies and the outfits. Remember, while you do so, that just because the real gifts of this sacred season can't be placed under the tree, it does not mean we can't give them. So give freely this holiday season by spreading faith, hope, peace, and love, and let us bring joy into the world. I leave you today with the words of Howard Thurman. When the song of the angels is still, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princesses are home, when the shepherds are back with their flocks, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to bring peace among the people, and to make music in the heart. Go now in faith, in hope, in peace and love. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Daphne, Michelle, and all the helpers. I ask you to hear now the birth narrative as told in the, the Gospel of Luke, beginning the second chapter in the first verse. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judah, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was laying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of God still speaking today. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. 
on that star, starlit night. I imagine that bright star marking above where the baby was born. That birth of Jesus, the Christ child, echoes throughout history. It does so because it's demonstrating God's love for humanity and actually all of creation. The birth of Jesus in that little town was the arrival of the incarnate light of the world. God loved us by becoming us. This is the gift given to the world. And tonight we had that great visual reminder of some of the gifts that God offers to us. The packages were carried up and stacked. Faith, hope, love, and peace. All these gifts are available to us, given to us by God. And what we need to understand is that these gifts of God are packaged up and delivered through the incarnation. The birth, life, sacrificial death of Jesus Christ is the way that God's gifts are offered to us still this day. Those gifts are not dependent on how good a person is. God is not watching the world and compiling a, a naughty list and a good list like some celestial Santa Claus. God views us as righteous. In right standing with God, not because of how good of a person we might think we are, but solely based on our faith in Jesus Christ. That is the gift of God. That we're saved by faith and not by works. What did the angel say to those shepherds on that starry evening in verse 14 again? They said, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. On earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. The incarnation is what allows us to have God's favor rest on us. God showed his love for us by becoming us. We can't know why God chose that specific time and that specific place to send the incarnation then and there. We can, assume that, we can assume that mankind was not ready beforehand. And specifically, God's chosen people, the Jewish people, were not ready before that time. Humanity certainly wasn't ready immediately after the fall. Human history given to us in the Old Testament a test that left on our own, we are incapable of honoring God. Incapable of honoring God, the Creator, who chose a family line to bless the world through. Abraham was chosen to begin and start that process, that plan that would lead to the birth of Jesus Christ in that stable that night so long ago. The Old Covenant, the law, it depended upon commands given to Moses by God and Moses took and gave to the people. It depended upon following those laws. But God was not going to leave us dependent on living under the law infinitely. God had a plan for our salvation. And through the birth of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago, that plan was put into motion. That birth of that Christ child 
It marks the reclamation project beginning so that we may be called God's children. And as God's children, we're actually God's heirs rather than just followers of his law. As God's children, as God's heirs, we are favored by God. God's favor and being called favored by God is not something we have to earn. It's a gift given that we are called righteous. We're in right standing with God because of our faith. On peace, on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. The angels are not announcing that peace is, that, is at hand for those who have pleased God, but rather that peace can be and is to be realized. It's a gift given to us given to the world graciously by our Heavenly Father. And as a gift, these other gifts that we have, we have to accept them. Are you ready to accept God's gift of peace this Christmas season? In this turbulent, crazy world, who doesn't want to extend their hands and ask God to have His peace rest upon them? The peace that, as Paul writes that passes all understanding. It allows us to stay anchored in the storms of life. To illustrate what this peace is like, there was once a king who announced a painting contest. He was building a new palace and he, he wanted a, the main entrance hall to have this huge mural painted upon it. He envisioned his kingdom as a peaceful land so whoever's painting best symbolized peace would be given a large cash prize. Over the next months, hundreds of paintings were shown. They arrived at the palace, and the king decided on two. And before announcing the winner, he hung them both in the palace for public viewing. The first painting was of a majestic lake, so tranquil and still that the lush hills behind it were perfectly mirrored in its reflection. The sky was brilliant blue with soft, puffy clouds. Wildflowers bursting with color outlined the lake. There was even a family of deer that grazed in a far meadow. Everyone who viewed it just felt and saw peace and happiness. The second painting portrayed a tall mountain cliff rugged and strong. A few small trees grew out of the, the rocks from the, on the face of the cliff, their gnarled roots clinging. A foamy waterfall angrily crashed down the cliff and into the rocky land below. And above there was dark, ominous clouds. And in distance, a lightning flash. Halfway up the cliff through a small bush, and in its branches, a bird sat in a nest, apparently warming her eggs. After several weeks, the king declared that second painting the winner. Confused and upset, the people asked the king to explain his decision. And that king said, peace is not the absence of conflict. That's the worldview. Peace is an absence of conflict. But in God's kingdom, peace is a state of mind. Those who can experience and receive God's gift of peace have love in their hearts, even if there's turmoil in their lives in the world. This is the gift of peace that's offered to us through the Incarnation. The birth of Jesus Christ, the embodiment of God's love that we celebrate this night, is what allows us to experience 
peace in our lives, no matter what storms are raging around us. Allowing God's gift of love to enter into our hearts is how we can have a peaceful state of mind in the middle of conflicts and turmoil in our lives. Remember, God showed his love for us by becoming one of us. May the gifts of God always find a place and a home in your heart. Amen. see the lights twinkle when you catch a reflection in a mirror, when you notice sunlight dancing on a surface or a nightlight glowing in the darkness. Let these be signs that the Christ light is revealed again and again in and through this world. Know that your brilliant presence 
is pouring more light into a weary world. Remember, God loves us by becoming us. This means you are already reflecting the sacred. In the name of God, the Creator, Christ, the Incarnate, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace and have a wonderful rest of your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day tomorrow. God bless.